Six candidates now facing off in the race to become the Democratic nominee for lieutenant governor. The Democratic primary is set for Tuesday, June 8th. 10 News reporter Jessica Jewell introduces us to the candidates. The Commonwealth's second highest office is up for grabs, and six Democrats are vying for your vote. Among their similarities, prioritizing COVID recovery, fighting climate change, increasing affordable health care access, and continued criminal justice reform. On top of that, Delegate Sam Razul, who represents the Roanoke Valley, wants to expand child development programs and increase teacher pay. I've always tried to do what I think uh, is uh, right. Uh, while I've uh, certainly tried to advance progressive values, I've always said what is best for Virginians, uh, and that's how I've always voted uh, and can't wait to do that as your next lieutenant governor. Delegate Hala Ayala says she'll push for Medicaid expansion and better telehealth access for rural communities. I want to be the last woman in the room with the governor, whomever he or she may be, to just lean in and shepherd and continue to roll my sleeves up and work for every Virginian. I would be the first woman of color elected, the first national security person. She's not the only candidate who'd be breaking barriers. I'd be the first openly gay lieutenant governor in American history. Delegate Mark Levine has an agenda set on dealing with gun violence and systemic racism and promises to elevate the position to a full-time job. I know how to get bills passed. I know how to get things done. And then, of course, there's that commitment, that full year-round commitment to visit all of Virginia's counties and cities and make your voice heard. That round-the-clock responsibility, also a commitment for Norfolk City Councilwoman Andrea McClellan. I think Virginia has full-time challenges and having an active, being an active partner to the governor is going to be important. The, the environment and workforce development among her priorities. I'm the only candidate who has local government experience. And I could be that bridge between cities and counties and towns at the highest level of state government. Sean Perryman is an attorney and a former chapter head of the NAACP. He vows to be a voice for the working class and expand broadband access. The role is not very powerful. And I've taken positions where I didn't have a lot of appearance power and uh, done something with it. And I'm someone who just really cares about all Virginians and wants to listen to them, uh, but knows how to pull the levers to get things done even when you don't have inherent power. Rounding out the group, Danville native Xavier Warren. He's a federal grant writing consultant and NFL agent focused on workforce development, school funding, and attracting more business. To be able to bring a unique, diverse experience outside of you, uh, new ideas and new leaderships to state government uh, to really bring a fresh start to uh, Virginia and the Roanoke area. A diverse field of candidates with a common goal keeping Virginia's leadership blue. Jessica Jewell, 10 News, working for you. And the winner of the Democratic primary will then go on to face GOP nominee Winsome Sears in the November election. You can learn more about where each candidate stands on the issues at WSLS.com. Tomorrow, we'll have a full preview of the Democratic candidates for governor. You can catch it during our 90 minutes of news right here on WSLS 10.